strong effort over here. Good girl. All right, Shy Eagle. Ready? Got him. <laughs> Did we both get him? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so our first morning started out pretty good. Mick ended up getting what looked to be a double. Had a boy, Mick. First bird, Rexy retrieved, no problem. Second bird, we had all three dogs looking for the longest time, just couldn't find it, including going out into that water ourselves. It's unfortunate, but it does happen sometimes. Yep. Catch him up. <laughs> That's a nice rooster. Good boy. Good boy, go back. Catch it up. Catch it up, Chase. Good girl. He's got it. That's where that's where uh, Oliver was. Ah, fetch, fetch. Dead bird. Get the bird. Get the bird. Get the bird. No, he don't have it. Well, it wasn't for lack of trying. That's for fetch sure. It up. Second little quick spot of the day. Didn't produce any roosters, but Shiloh and Oliver had dogged these hens a good 150, 200 yards, trailing and pointing, trailing and pointing until they got to this point here and then ended up uh, putting both these hens in the air. Our third spot of the day was a much bigger spot. Ended up turning our whole day around. We had really good luck in this spot. I had seen a rooster off the road and was planning to go down and get that rooster, but the dogs had other plans. I've learned, and often the hard way of course, always follow the dog. Ended up being a nice little covey of hounds. Come on, Chaz, fetch him up. Fetch him up. Here you go, Chaz. Come here. 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 Man, that was a beautiful point by Oliver right there. Got a nice Hungarian partridge, whole covey. I knew this covey was here. It was just a matter of time before I found him. Awesome. So after Mick joined me, we ended up walking back down the, the back side of where I just was on the Cubby Huns, and we ended up finding them once again. Oh. Oh, shies. Oh. 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 All right, number two. All right, there's a rooster right down there. We're gonna go get. <laughs> what do you think, huh, Mick? I love them. Looks like it's young. This one is a young one. Yep. <laughs> All right. Once we made it down to the edge of the slough where that pheasant was cackling, things got a little western as they say. Um, after getting this bird, I shut my camera off for a second, turned it back on, and we had another one coming across left to right. She got it? Yep. Awesome. <laughs> I can't 
fucking Rex is right there too. <laughs> How awesome was that? I was calling him back. <laughs> Were you? Yeah. Good boy. Good boy, Rexy boy. Good boy, that guy. Huh? There he yeah. is. Here. Deal. Deal up. Come on. Deal up. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, that's your treat. That's the prize right there, boys. That a boy, Rexy. That's the prize. That a boy, huh? Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. There we go. <laughs> All right. I didn't know where the hell he was. Look at the spurs on that. Yeah, one. he's a nice one. Oh, there are some big spurs, aren't they? Nice. Put it in your bag. Thank you, sir. That's a bitch. It is. Is he? Not anymore. Where's my two? Ready? Got him. Did we both get him? I have no idea. <laughs> That was awesome! <laughs> Oh, girl Shiloh, good boy, Ollie. Yep. Yep. There's a nice rooster, huh, Mick? Oh, oh. oh did we earn that one? <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. Awesome. Oh, I would imagine <laughs> more than just one person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a shot. Ooh. Had to get way in front of it. Yeah. They just pushed that right in front of us, didn't they? They all were. They're all on birds. <laughs> yep. Hand. Hand. Oh. Rooster! That was a little far. Ooh. What is that? Get him, Rooster! <laughs> Holy crap! Flusher coming in behind. Call your dog. Got Who's got it? Shiloh here. Shiloh here. Shiloh here. Good girl, Shies. Come here. Young of the year rooster there. Oh Mick. Nice job. That was another rooster that went out that other side. Oh, yeah. Both of my point flusher flushes it. Yep, I got that. <laughs> Seriously. I know it. <laughs> that was freaking. <laughs> this is gonna be a sharp tail. Whoop. And it did end up being a covey of sharp tails. They were running kind of off to my left a little bit. And then sure enough, as soon as I got back on my phone, covey flush. Yep. Nice! Yep, I heard ya. Boy, Rex, nice fly. Here. Nice job, Rexy. Good boy, Rex. Here. Hold him. Hold him, Rex. Oh, oh, there goes a deer. I almost stepped on it. Good boy, Rex. <laughs> Do you see that, Vic? Nice bird. Look at that rooster. Oh, he does got spurs. Oh, God, you. Jangle. <laughs> Shallow. Here, Shies. Just taking a quick little break. We've had a good day. Um, got on a couple Hungarian partridge. Had a covey of sharp tails. Um, was messing around with my phone, of course. <laughs> Otherwise, I think I would have had one of those. And we're just, we, we're really getting on the roosters too. We've had, we've had a really good day. But it's going to take a little bit of a rest here and then 
head back to the truck in a minute and, and go pick Mick up down on the other end. On my way back out, I ended up bumping into them Huns again. Definitely got the best of me this time. Damn it. Before walking back to meet Mick, I ended up going down this drainage and I basically got hen to death. Like Mick often says, sometimes you wish you had a paintbrush you could change the color on a few of these. Man. Nice job, Shiloh. Nice job, Ollie. Good boy. Seems to be a lot of young of the year hens on the landscape this year. Second, maybe even third hatch. Some of them are pretty small. In fact, just about every brood that we came across seemed to be a second or third hatch. So I knew this spot had a couple different cubbies of Huns. Ended up walking the back side of this piece and sure enough Oliver ended up getting on him again. He seems to have a really good nose for Huns. Just as they go to retrieve this down bird, it gets up and flies away. We tried following up on it to see if we could kick it up again, but we never found it again. Mick decided to go back to camp, so Shiloh, Oliver, and I, we ended up going back out to see if we could find some more roosters or, or maybe a Sharpie cubby. Decided to take a little rest before the last walk. I've had a couple of roosters cackling out here. I could actually hear some sharp tails get up, do their little giggle. We're gonna take one last walk back to the truck. So the very end of the walk ended up with me getting hand to death again. I don't care how many times that happens. Those flushes at your feet, they startle you every single time. Damn it. Of course, I wish they all could be roosters, but having these hands flush at your feet like this, that's pretty fun too. Come here, Shies. I had a bunch more hand flushes I didn't show, but then we finally caught up to this rooster that came out the other side of those cattails. There. Got him. <laughs> Uh, 
Touch him up, guys. Touch him up. Man, that was a hard earned bird. Let's see, Shies. Did you get him? But Shies, here, 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 Shies. Shies, let's see. Let's see, kid. Shiloh, let's see. Come on now. All right. A golden hour rooster. Golden hour. The sun is just on the other side of them trees and it's just setting. Got him at the last minute. Beautiful bird. You know, my grandma always used to say, when you get towards the last part of your life, you're going to end up maybe having a couple of friends, nice. you know, that, that you can truly trust and yes. and really call a friend. And, and Mick just happens to be one of those guys. We had an absolute blast on this trip. Um, part two, we end up uh, having just as much fun as we did on this. Ready? Got him!